the most beautiful young man who ever walked the face of this earth, full of quality, character, and worth, a king among men. Wherever he stands is a palace, wherever he sits is a throne. 28-year-old Anita Green is not married, has no job, and doesn't go out much. We will be together in the next world. She lives with her parents in a house called Green Mansions, which may sound very romantic, but is perhaps somewhat let down by its position. It's situated on an extremely busy roundabout on the Widnes Road out of Liverpool. All this might point to a rather sad and lonely existence. But Anita herself doesn't see it like that at all. Here, Anita has built a world of her own, which is certainly more dramatic in its way than the one most of us inhabit. That may seem too strong a word for something as singularly lacking in drama as hat making, but not once you've seen Anita's hats. Describing a hat as being a bit over the top could be taken two different ways. In Anita's case, both apply. I've always loved beautiful things, and I've always admired great ladies. And um, I'd like to think I'm a lady myself, although I never wear hats or anything. Um, I think the title for them would be Great Expectations, because uh, I always have dreams of going somewhere one day. Anita is also a skilled dressmaker with a different outfit for every hat in her collection. In addition, she writes poetry and short stories and believes that, given the opportunity, she could be an outstanding musician. But there is one thing about Anita Green which, above all, distinguishes her from the average Liverpudlian. Her wide-ranging supernatural powers. See, I'm not set in human matter, and therefore I understand things which are beyond human comprehension. What sort of things? Well, sort of secrets of her earth and heaven. See, people might say, looking at me might say, I wonder why she's dressed like that, or, you know, who does she think she is? But in my case, I'd just like to say, it's not who I think I am, it's who I know I am. I used to think, um, Oh, I had the soul of a queen. I know it sounds strange, but souls are also my speciality. And um, I believe I'm an angel. I'm not, I'm not just saying that. I just feel it, you know. Um, and also, I'm a prophetess and probably a goddess. On a more earthy level, Anita has decorated the house in the kind of opulent style which, even after seeing her hats, comes as something of a shock. Um, up here are the paintings which I've collected over the years and they, ha they haven't cost me very much money and I've also restored the banisters which was a very difficult job considering there was eight layers of paint and hardboard. But perhaps the most startling sight of all comes right at the top of the house. In the attic bedroom she has created for herself. No attic, surely, was ever like this. This bed is really quite something, Anita. Oh, thank you very much. I feel very honoured that you've um, said. It really does look quite super. Do, do you actually sleep in it, though? Oh, yes. I've never spent a night out of um, this particular bed. Well, since you've lived here? Yes, since we've lived here. And um, How long did it take you to actually make it? Well, I should imagine about six months, gathering all the materials together. And I've decided to say it's extremely comfortable and warm. And uh, it isn't just a bed, I'd like to add. It's, it's an expression of myself, and it's, it's sort of me, and I'd feel naked if I didn't have drapes around. You would? Yes, because um, I'd like just like to say that um, I had a dream about this. I'm not just saying this, but it's true. I had a dream. I saw it in a palace in London, down a corridor, and um, I just the headboard, and then when I went to an auction room, I happened to see the very bed which I bought for quite a cheap price. And then I, I built it up, and really, I, if I had the room, I'd make it go much higher, and I'd have, a, I'd have it built up on steps, but unfortunately, I can't do it in well, this it's, particular... It's high enough as it is. No, not really. Not, I'm very extravagant, you see, and very elaborate, and um, I like to surround myself with uh, beautiful things.
Well, what about your dress? That's rather sensational. Um, yeah, so I designed this myself because um, I'm supposed to be the girl with the golden hands and the girl with the golden heart, so I thought I'd make myself a golden dress. And I put lots of jewels on it to sort of as an expression of my inner self, um, because my mind is like a million jewels inside it. What do you call this dress? Uh, I call this dress uh, the Queen of Sheba, because except um, the only thing is I haven't got a King Solomon to answer my many questions about life. Hardly surprisingly, under the circumstances, Anita feels it's a pity that greater use is not made of her powers in matters affecting the welfare of the country. Um, well, the thing is about me is, it's as if I come from another world and I enjoy living, but I, I just like to say that um, in a way I'd be glad to get back where I really come from, but I'd like to find out first why I've been given all these gifts and what I've been born for and how can someone like me do all those things and not have any purpose in life because I, I haven't done anything since I've been born and I've never sort of worked and I've just been trying to find myself and... Don't you like an ordinary job? Well, there's no job in the world that would really suit me. Um, it just doesn't sort of interest me. I'm looking for something. I'm not sure what it is. As I say, whatever I say, my word is like, it's sort of sacred. Whatever I say comes true. I'm not always liked for it. But whatever I say is, it's like gospel. Is it? What about your music? What do you play? If I had the instruments, I could play any instrument. But one of the things I'd really like would be um, a golden harp. Uh, all angels should have a harp. <laughs> and I see. How would you describe yourself? Um, well, I describe myself as living in a Peter Pan world. It's a really wonderful world to live in. It, it's a bit far removed from reality, but um, I'm very, very fortunate. And I'm very happy at home and have a wonderful life. I wish everybody could live like me, and the world would be a very happy place. Thank mm -hmm. you.